Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I have literally just um, finished collecting all the stones off the field. Obviously not with the bucket. I have used the stone, collect stone picker upper. This thing here. And I have brought it down to this field down here. Because today I'm going to purchase this land. It's basically 2.3 million in money to get because I'm going to be flattening that forest over there, get some cattle, some horses, splits and bobs like that. Might not be all in this one episode. But we'll see what we can get done. So, first things first, we need to sell. Oh, and I can't drive to save my life. So basically, I need to sell all my canola from the last episode. Oh, 202,000 litres of it. I've reinstalled auto drive, but I may not use it. So yeah, we'll see how we go. But not much has changed in here. Everything seems to be the same still. Or oh, is that still filling? I'll just run over this over here. I ploughed this as a test and only had small stones then cultivated it it didn't add any more stones to the field I then come over to the big field I ploughed it and I went over it with just the stone picker and I didn't realise until I'd done it but using the stone picker after you plough gives you a cultivated state to your fields. You see it? It's quite handy to know that. I'm going to run the five loads of canola straight up to the Huron County North Grain Store. Just over there. So I'll be back in a sec with the update on how much I got out of the crop. I'm just going to drive over my field because they've just been cultivated. It's absolutely fine. I don't mind whatsoever. If there's nothing on it in terms of seed or crop, it's all good. So anyway, see you in a minute. see what we get. Two point two point three mil. Okay, I'm happy with that. That's a good start. Right. Here we go. Let's purchase some land. Wherever the land is, there it is. Just there. Purchase. Now that's given me 15,000. So, first job. First job is to plough the potatoes and the sugar beets for this land. This is a 26 meter plow, so yeah, with a 26 meter plow, you can get these jobs done pretty quickly. That's why I got it for the contracts. 
Right. Do that on that one. Up down, longest edge, start. I am on the correct place. Yep. Even better. Go. Right. To show you this. Uh, that one. No, next one. Give it a second to load. Or a minute. Either way, there you go. Look at the amount of stone I have on my property now. That's a lot of stone. So all that stone is going to be collected to go into my uh, limestone production. That was a very bad job reversing there. So I have 20,397 stone in here. Hopefully that gives me a one to one ratio. Because that's a lot of lime. Is it enough to do these three fields alone? Hell no. I can guarantee it that I'm going to need two of these, like 40,000 to do these, minimum. But anyway, let's go dump it into the production, get that going. And then we can load up that silo that I've got for it. Go from there. I'm definitely going to need more silos at some point. These fields are rather large. Um, in the other area as well, are we getting a cow pasture? The free range one, I'll show you that in a sec. Let me just empty this. Press I. Right, that's emptying very slowly because it's really grain door. So, construction, animals, horses. I'm just going to go with the rather large sized one from Elm Creek expansion stuff and the open ranch. This is for the cows. I'll probably have like a hundred cows at the end of the day in there. I will fence it off as well. And I was going to do the chickens. So I'm going to need a lot of crops. I don't even know what horses take because this is the first time I've done it. Oat, sorghum, hay I'm going to say and water. Chickens, wheat, barley, sorghum, no water. I'm going to say that's total mixed rations, grass and silage off the top of my head. And I'll probably put down one of these big ones because it's got the 1500 meter reach on it. Right, let me just empty the little bit I've got in here. Into this. I am no good with these controls. 
I do have the Vermeer pack as well, so at some point I'll be using the baler. Okay. I'm surprised I didn't pick all that up. Oh, that's not what I was intending to do. Anyway, let's try that again. Try and pick up this. I'm not doing very well at this tonight. I need to collect this little bit in here. So, 25,000, just over, I've cleared all this out, that's good. This is chugging along perfectly, um, yeah, so I just got to wait for that to be finished, how's my manure getting on? Probably done to be fair. No? Okay. I'm surprised at that. Right, I'm going to run this down to the field where I'm ploughing because I'm going to need it down there. What I will do, because there's so many stones on the field, every time he fills up, which is going to be really quickly, it's only 2,000 litres, I'm going to just dump it at the edge of the field, or, or behind it, just reverse back and empty it out and just follow it along with this, scooping it up. I almost wish I had a... Uh, wheeled load of a massive bucket on it. I don't even know what I've got in terms of wheel loaders. Wherever they are. Okay. I've just got the standard ones. I don't use them, you see, so. What's the biggest bucket we got? 3,000, 4,000. 4,000, okay. going to be a lot of stone off this field. I'm going to have so much stone, it's going to be piled up in that concrete bunker section that I've made. Oh, I just realised where I was. I've got to be wary of which field's mine and which one's not. Anyway, I don't even think I'm that close to it. Where am I? Oh, I'm there. I'm miles away. Okay, I shall see you when I get there. Right, I decided to go get the uh, class tractor. Whilst well, so I was travelling backwards and forwards just so that I can um, start start uh, collecting stones etc because I'm going to need this big trailer so I'm going to bring it over here drop the trailer Pick up the stone picker 
Let's see what I get. And I'll just run over my crops. That's very useful. I have um, got. While well, I think about it, productions. I've got a diesel facility. Now I'm going to use it, but I'm not selling the diesel. I'm going to be using it on my tractors. It's a good possibility, depending on how quick it produces it, that I'll probably put the, diesel, the fuel usage up, because I think I've got it on normal at the moment. I might put it up to high. Go from there. But yeah, so um, that's a plan. That wood over there is going to be thinned out and then I'm going to put a chicken coop and use it as an extra, like an animal farmyard, if that makes sense. Right. Let's see how we get on with this. My driving is shocking. I need to lower it. Get out of you and go. I'm just going to do one run up here. See what I get. Right guys, I've literally done one and a bit rows and I'm full. There's a lot of stone on this field. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump them just there. going to be a big job. There's a lot of stones on this field. I didn't think I'd have two less than two rows. I thought I'd do at least four before I'm full.
Right guys, I'm gonna just go dump this over here again. Bit more stone. And as you can see, the cultivating has taken effect. So with that, I'm going to leave the episode there. from this field. I will say now though, it's more than I was expecting. Definitely a lot more than I was expecting. So whilst I'm doing this, I do have a helper doing the other one. He is over there somewhere. We are going to concentrate on this field here because it's nearly done. I'm working out to do like maybe one and a half rows if I'm lucky to fill up the 2000 litres of stone. Right, just 
And here... I do have the um, guided steering on, but I've took the line off. So yeah, I reckon one more pass and we should all be good on this field. And then we'll race the stone back up to the line production place and go from there. I probably won't put them straight into the line production facility. I'll put them into this silo holding spot next to it. But for what I've got now, I think we did go a long way to be fair and to be completely honest I've still got two fields of corn that once that's harvested I'll get a load more stone from that and they'll probably be bigger fields than what I've got now I'm surprised I'm not full so it looks like I'm going to be able to turn around and come back on myself then have a little bit left. Not much, but a little bit. Yep, maybe that pile of stones just there will finish me off. Last row. And there you go for no, not quite. Definitely this one. That's a lot of stone. Right, let's race this over to the big pile I got at the end here. So if you would like to guess how much stone I've got here, let me know. Put it in the comments. I reckon I haven't really been keeping an eye on how many loads I've taken. Probably 60,000 litres. Off the top of my head, I think it's going to be around 60,000. That trailer down there is going to be full regardless. Um, so yeah, just finish this field and then I can get on and plant it. So let's go Alt X. Let's get that on. I need to lower, turn on, and off we go. Oh, that was 353 litres just there. So I'm not going to worry about stone for the time being. I think I'm going to be pretty good for for the next harvest or two, depending on how thick I put down the line. But saying that, most of my fields I'll have a look at when I get to the end are not too bad. So the manure's good enough. I've got enough of that to keep me going. Seed, I can do that from wheat really. Probably my cheapest one I can use. So I'm pretty much self-sufficient at the moment. I 
can't wait to get this farm up and running down here with the cows and the horses, maybe sheep. I don't know yet. I haven't quite worked out what I want to do. So that's field number one done with stones. And there is a lot of them. I think I'm going to say that other tractor stopped. Yep. So this one is using a higher capacity version of the one that I've brought, but I've leased this one. And it runs at 20 kilometers an hour compared to, I think it's like 15. So it goes through it pretty quickly. Anyway, that here, that there, that little pile is the first one for this field. So that is now 10,000 litres of stone. Just off this field. I've still got that section over there to do. And go there. Right, so I'm going to let him do that. This one I'm going to run back up to the farm and drop off. Um, yeah, the tractor and implements looking a bit worse for wear to be fair. I'm going to need a bit of fuel as well. And then I'll hook this tractor up. Actually, I'll leave this here. I'm going to hook the tractor up to the trailer. Job done. And let's go. Let's see how many it's going to take. I reckon it's going to be two loads. So 2,651 litres per shovel or bucket, whichever you want to call it. This could definitely do with an extra bit of weight on the back of the, the telehandler. That's what I wanted to extend. Here you go. Right. That's two. Nope. Let's bring that in. There. 
definitely need a weight on the back. Now when I've done this on Renav on the Renaboo map, I had a little 130 brake horsepower Ford tractor and to, for the weight I used the Cedar. It seemed to work quite well. Ten thousand in there. This would be so much better and easier with a joystick. That's a 40% full trailer so far. Right. I'm going to have to start going the other way. I don't want it all to go on the grass, so I can't see it.
There it is. Right. Up the other way, up the other way. the end. Oh, driving over my corner. Eighty one per cent.
<sighs> there you go. I am surprised. So that's 45, 46, 46,667 litres. I can't tell if there's any in the grass. And that's just off this field. And there's a bit still on the floor there. Right, well, I'm going to run this up to the farm and then I think I'll leave it there for now. Here we are then, back at the farm. I'm just going to dump this into the holding area. I can't believe how much we got. Be intrigued to see what the number is on there now. 13,000. That's, that's going through that pretty quickly to be fair. I'm going to just back this up and tip this in here. Yay. That's an awful lot of stone. So far I've got 12,200 litres of stone. Right, this one has finished again. So I'm going to go and empty this one over here. As I was saying before, I've got a stone script for, or mod, whichever you want to call it, for collecting stones during ploughing and cultivating missions. I'll probably only be doing those as and when I need stones, if I need them. Because if I'm going to be generating stone like this all the time, I'll be absolutely laughing. But this could have accumulated over time with like multiple harvests on the field. So there is that as well to, to figure out. Because the next time I do this, I probably won't even get a trailer full of stones. I just don't know. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to leave the episode there, so a very big thank you for watching, please subscribe, please leave comments down below, I'll try and answer them as soon as I can, and yeah, goodbye for now.